Hey guys and welcome back. I got some questions on how to bulk upload Excel files. So I thought, why not just make a video out of it, right? So uh, I have a folder here with a bunch of files and I just want to bulk upload all of them. This is my folder and I have all of these files, which are essentially sales files for different months. And I want to not really upload each of them individually. Instead, just tell click, hey, whatever's in this folder, just upload it. So I'm going to load all my files. I'm going back into it and let's just take the first one here. And this is my, let's say 2022 Jan. So I have one sheet with all the IDs. I'm going to say insert. And essentially what you're telling click here is from this particular location, load this file, right? And let me change this to load it into a table called Excel data. Good. And now you save from, and then you have your load file. And this is the file name. And if you run this, click looks for this exact file name. But what you could do is tell click, hey, you know what? Sales underscore files and a star. So this basically wild matches it and tells load all files starts from sales underscore files. And then regardless of whatever is after that, well, ignore it, just load all of them as long as the starting is sales underscore files. So let's load it. And it seems like we have one, two, three, four that has been loaded. If you look over here, I have actually not four, but I have six. But the difference is that over here, it's not sales underscore files. Instead, it's actually sales files. Well, how do we fix that? I'm gonna go back and let's just say here, a star here or I could just take this entire thing away right just give a star and it would load it how is it going to load it well it's going to look at the files and as long as the column names are the same click is going to concatenate it because that's clicks associative engine so when it finds tables with common column names it associates it right since we're loading all these particular tables and they have common names it's going to concatenate it automatically let me go back to sales and load it and we see now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. All the different files have been loaded. Great. Now I'm going to close this. Now, if you look at our data model viewer, we see that one table has been loaded with all of these, right? Perfect. This is exactly what we want. So if you want to do a wild match, just use star. But there could be another variation to it. That is, what if you have one of the tables which have a slight different name here what happens then so let's look at that situation what happens when we have one file which which has different column names so I'm gonna click on enter I mean load field ID is not found yeah right so let's close this I'm gonna put a star here because the ID names are different good now all the files in my particular folder has been loaded exactly what I wanted because I'm saying, hey, load all the files, star and load statement as well. I'm just giving it a star. So let's see what happens here. Now, Click's associative engine has actually created two tables and this is not what we want because essentially, well, it is still sales data. In my files, I have one file which has different field names. So Click has essentially created two different tables, but that's not what we want. We actually want just one. We want to like force click to concatenate into just one table. It might be an error or, you know, you know how Excel files are. They are just, oh my God, don't, don't, don't get me started on it. It's just so annoying dealing with all the Excel files. Yeah. But we want to force concatenate it. So how do we, how, how do we do that? Well, well, there's another way to load the files individually. So how do we fix that issue and force click to concatenate into just one table when you're looping through different files. So let's look at that. We go back here and I say, first I create a temporary table just so I can call the concatenate function. So my table here was Excel data. First, I'm gonna just create a temporary table. So I'm just gonna say load. Uh, I don't want any value. So just say null, create a field as temporary field. Um, I don't want any value here. I'm just creating a table, right? So that I can call, just 
a complete empty table. So let me show you how that is. So right now, if you see auto generate zero, lines fetched zero. And if we go into our viewer, we just have an empty table and just a field. We're going to drop that field later on. Don't worry. So just so I can later on call over here in my load, I can say concatenate. So over here, I'm, I'm done with this. And then I say, then I'm creating a for loop so that I can go into my folder and load all the files that match my for loop condition. So I say for each, it's also an inbuilt function and file in file list. What is my file list? Well, my file list, that is the location. So this is the location and the sales that I want to add, uh, the files that I want to add, which have my sales data. So essentially I'm saying for each file that's actually in this particular location that matches this condition, that is S star, and it's an XLX or um, an Excel file, you can change this to CSV, QBD, whatever, right? Then for this, I want you to concatenate into the particular table that I've already created here, this empty table into Excel data. That is my empty table that I created. And after concatenate is of course load, columns that are there in those tables. And then from, where from? Well, I want to say essentially this whole part has already been stored into my file function here, right? So because we say that for each file in file list that matches this condition, save it into file, I can take this away. And over here, all I can say is, hey, from nothing but file, but this is variable expansion. So I'm expanding whatever is stored in this file location with the file name, and that has been stored into file. And I'm going to expand it over here and say dollar file expanded. Then over here, I'm going to say next file because it's a for loop, right? So this loop continues as long as this condition is met and there are files that meet this condition, then the loop continues. And once it doesn't find any more files, it stops loading into this Excel data. So let's just load it now. And now when we look here, those two tables has been combined into just one table. This is exactly what we wanted. It was probably a human error because in one of the Excel files, there was a different column name and we can later, later fix this, right? We could change the column names and put all the similar IDs into just one column. We could do that later on, but we wanted to force concatenate all the files into just one table. And that's what we're doing with this for loop. Good. Uh, and now if you see here, we still have the temporary field over here, this particular table that we created here, and we could just drop this and I say drop field. So now what we have done is we have forced click to concatenate all of the fields and from different files, even if the names are different and not really use the clicks associative engine and create different tables. This is how you can do it. I go into much more in depth in my uh, course. So check out the link below. People are absolutely loving it. You'll learn a lot more with scripts and everything included. So check out the links below. Please leave a like, super appreciate it. See you in the next one. Peace.